video we're going to talk about how to add react to your website we can use create react app to create a react application uh, which does all the job for you in terms of you know setting up webpack babel etc but i feel it's important to understand how it actually works behind the scenes what actually react is doing when it's creating an element when you are inserting element in the dom etc so this is uh, something called add react in one minute and this is there in the documentation if you go to reactjs dot uh, org doc add react to website dot html link okay so let's uh, get that rolling so let's create a directory uh, i'm into my root directory so i'm going to create a directory called add react okay i'll just go to this directory and then i'll just open this in my php storm so i'll just use the command p storm and hit enter and I'm just going to open that dot okay okay now it tells me go ahead and add a dom container to your html so i'm going to create an html file which is index.html okay and it's saying that go ahead and add this div so i'll do that however i will name i will put the id name instead of like button container i will name it as a root okay you can name it whatever you like okay then it talk, talks about add the script tag so i'm going to add the script tag which is for loading react okay and this needs to be above root okay so it talks about when deploying replace development js with production min.js so it gives you the minified file so this is basically to load react from this script okay once you do that uh, then we need to create a react component so what i'm going to do is i'll name the file for react component as index.js okay and then it says that go ahead and and get hold of that element that we have just added which is div with an id of root so we know that in javascript we can go ahead and use uh, let's say dom container is equal to document dot get element by id okay they are using query selector i'm using get element by id because as long as we are getting hold of that element and remember we had put the id as a root so that's what i'm going to do okay so if we just console log console one dom container let's see what we get and we also need to include this script file which is index.js into index.html so i'll just use script tag and source and i'll put that as index dot js sorry index dot js okay and then i'll just open this in a browser i don't need any server to run this i just need to check what's going on so if you check in console you are getting a div with an id of root so we have got hold of that element basically what we want to do is we want to create an element and insert it into the dom inside of this root uh, sorry div with the id of root okay so you've got this uh, next is because we have included a uh, react with these scripts uh, react makes few of the objects available to us first one is react so you can see this is react okay and if you check type of okay let me just increase the size okay if you check type of react it's an object okay so what does it include it gives us different methods that we have available we have component we have uh, children create element all of that right now what we want to do is basically uh, we want to go ahead and uh, create an element okay so we have a method available for that if we check we have react dom dot render so this the job of this is basically to render okay and of course uh, we need to create an element first okay so we can use react dot create element for that okay 
okay so as we have seen we have uh, this re create element method available okay so let's just see we have this method available to create an element in react okay so i'm just going to use that so i'll say const new element is equal to react so since i have react object available it has a method available called create element so i'm going to use that create element okay and what are the parameters it takes let's see okay it takes a tag name then it takes options etc okay so so what will be the tag name what tag name means what tag do you want to create do you want to create a p tag do you want to create h tag or a tag so let's say i want to create a paragraph so i'll give paragraph okay and then it takes the second parameter okay so let's just check what are the met methods what are the parameter it takes so let's see what's the second parameter is if i just check its definition and if i come over here it says create element and second is options guys okay so what is what are options what are the options that we can provide as a second parameter so we can pass in attributes for example if i want to pass class name i can just put my class and then it takes or any other attribute that you want to pass you want to pass that as options you can do that okay and the third parameter it takes is basically the text that goes inside of it so we can say that this is paragraph okay right so we've got an element we've got hold of the element where we want to insert a new element we have also created a new element so all we want to do is basically just go ahead and uh, insert this element uh, so we can do that by using react dom dot render method so if we come back and check first let's just console this new element and see how it looks like and I'm gonna get rid of this one uh, let's just go back let's just go back open this refresh so you can see this is the element basically and you can see that type of symbol react dot element so it's a react element okay and it's got props so these options are also called props guys okay and you can see it's got children this is paragraph which is this class name attribute which is my class right and type is p okay so it's a p tag perfect so this is our element and uh, as we know that we have react dom available as well so let's see what are the methods that are there inside react dom because we have included the react scripts these scripts okay so we have react dom also available so if we check we have render method okay so that's what we want to do basically render uh, this element inside of this uh, dom container which is basically the div that is there inside of the index.html okay so we'll go ahead and use this method so we'll say react dom which is an object and we need to access the render method so we'll say react dom dot render method okay and what does it take as the first parameter okay i think so if you go back to the documentation it takes the first parameter is the element okay so what do we want to insert okay so we want to insert the new element so we'll put new element over here and where do we want to insert where do we want to render this element we want to render it inside of this div with an id of root right so we know that we've already accessed that using document.get element by id so all i have to do is just take this and pass it here okay perfect so what do we expect to happen the job of the render method of the react dom object is to go ahead and take this element that we've just created and and render it inside of the div with an id of root which we have put it inside index.html so if you go back and refresh now and sure enough you can see that we have this paragraph available so if we now go to elements and if you just inspect element you can see that we have a div with an id of root and we have created a p tag with a class my class so we have the class element okay and then this is the text inside of it this is paragraph and because we have used react dom dot render 
it is being rendered inside of the div with an id of root okay so that's how it uh, react goes ahead and, and you know uh, renders elements uh, we create elements later on when we will be learning jsx you don't actually have to uh, write all of this jsx jsx will handle all of that which is javascript and xml okay uh, i will explain to you in detail what that is but basically the job of that will be to go ahead and create these elements and those elements will then be rendered inside of the dom okay so you don't have to write like this react dot create element that do the job for you this is just for your understanding so that later on when you study jsx you understand what is going behind the scenes and what is it actually doing for you so it is important to understand the basics first before you actually get into uh, understanding what are the tools available for you in react okay guys so i hope this was clear to you uh, in the next video you're going to learn about how to set up react uh, using a webpack uh, Babel, uh, etc. Okay, and once that is done, uh, then we will start coding in React and uh, learning different concepts like uh, components, uh, JSX, uh, lifecycle methods, etc. Okay, so if you did like my video, guys, give a thumbs up. Uh, please do, su do subscribe to my channel and uh, see you a bit. Thank you. Bye bye.